Hi there, this is Guy from the Coin Bureau and in this video I'm going to be going through Gollum. Before I get into it though, I need to make it clear that we are not paid or mandated to do any of these videos. We simply do our research and present our reviews for your educational purposes. Also, I'm not your financial advisor and I encourage you to speak to yours before making any investment decisions. Oh yeah, if this is your first time here, you may want to subscribe to the Bureau. We will keep you up to date with our daily dose of crypto reviews. Now, with all of that stuff out of the way, let's get right back to Gollum. Gollum is a project that is trying to build a global decentralized supercomputer. Essentially, it allows those users with spare computing power to rent it out to those who are looking to buy computing resources. There are a number of use cases for technology such as Gollum's. Think about crunching machine learning algorithms, rendering 3D models, and other resource intensive tasks. No need for these operators to run complicated machinery. They merely have to send their computing request to the Gollum network and borrow these resources. It's a pretty ingenious concept that has been replicated by a number of other projects in the space recently. So how does it work exactly? Let's take a look at a simplified transaction on the network. They've just released the beta of their brass version of the Gollum protocol. Within this ecosystem, those that need the computing resources are called the requesters, and those who want to rent it out are called providers. These providers will receive all of the broadcasted tasks that have been pushed to the network by the requesters. These providers will then check the nodes for reputation and will select the best one based on their reputation score. Once the provider is satisfied with the task and the requesting node, it will send through the price and its computing power information. If this is sufficient for the requester, then the computing process can begin. There will be a back and forth process between the two parties to confirm all is well. Then, on completion of the task, payment is handled by way of an Ethereum-based smart contract. Of course, this is quite a simplified explanation of how the process works. So if you want more in-depth overview, you can read our long form review, which we link to below. Now, another central component of the Gollum ecosystem is the Gollum network token, that's GNT. This is an ERC20 token that was issued on the Ethereum blockchain. It's a utility token that will act as economic fuel for the Gollum network. GNT is used as the medium of exchange in the ecosystem where the requesters will pay the providers for the computing power. You also have to deposit a certain amount of GNT if you want to be a provider on the network. The tokens were issued in one of the earlier Ethereum ICOs that took place in November of 2016. The project raised about $8 million where each GNT cost about one cent. Secondary trading of GNT began not long after the ICO and it's been a wild ride to say the least. There was intense volatility in the token throughout 2017 and early 2018. It reached an all-time high of $1 back in January of 2018. Unfortunately, though, it has since erased most of those gains. Current prices are still above the ICO, so if you bought GNT during the crowd sale, then you're still in the green. If you bought it any time during the past two years, then not so much. Anyways, let's move on and take a look at the team behind Gollum. They're based in Warsaw, Poland, making them one of the more notable projects from the region. The founder, Julian Zawatowski, actually has previous startup experience having founded a project called IMAP. On top of this, there are about two dozen people currently working on the Gollum protocol. Most of the developers and software engineers are computing science majors from Polish universities. The team has also been quite active in their development. You can take a look into the project's GitHub to see just how much work has been done. There have been numerous code commits to many of their repositories, so quite encouraging. So, what does the market look like for GNT? Well, GNT is currently listed on a number of exchanges, including Binance, Huobi, Bittrex, Polynex, etc. So, a nice diverse mix. However, the bulk of the volume is currently taking place on Binance with strong order books. This implies healthy levels of liquidity, which allows smoother execution of large block orders. In other words, no slippage. Once you have your GNT, then you're probably going to want to store them in an offline wallet. If you want to take part in the Gollum Brass beta testing, then you can download their core wallet. However, if you're merely looking to store them for safe hodling, then there is a plethora of third-party ERC20 wallets that you can use. We've actually covered a list of the best Gollum wallets in the link below if you want more in-depth analysis. So in conclusion then, 
Gollum is an established project that's building a network with a definitive use case. They have relatively strong team that has been active in their development. Moreover, the GNT token is still well traded and there is a decent amount of liquidity on a range of exchanges. Having said all of this, the project has faced numerous delays in the past. This has led to a great deal of frustration from many who have invested in the project. There are now a number of competing projects with a similar MO to Gollum. These include the likes of iExec, SonM and other computing blockchains. So if Gollum is to remain ahead of the curve, they need to complete the rollout of their brass core protocol and focus on broader adoption from the people that matter most, those who will rent or provide computing systems. That's all folks. But what do you think of Gollum? Do you think this was a fair review or do you have any questions for me? Hit me up in the comments below. And of course, if this video is helpful, then show us some love by tacking that like button and subscribing. You won't regret it. Thank you.